it, it's it's insane the inquiries that we're getting from from them. Two hundred snakes in here, just you know, hatchlings. As far as normal, all the way up to like just clown pastels and pastel pies, whatever. All of them would be sold out like that. Easily be making over you know six figures on just those babies right there. What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Um, guys, we have some crazy stuff today. But first, I want to talk about, man, I you know, I was talking about this on my Patreon in my last video. Um, I am so happy and I think it's so cool that a lot of people finally are, you know, opening up and talking about the business side of ball pythons. I mean, this is something that should have been done like five, ten years ago. People should have been talking about this a long time ago. I think if it would have been done a long time ago, people would have felt more confident and, you know, been more excited to jump into this awesome growing business. And it's cool seeing other people doing it now, man. I'm really, really excited about that. I think in the next couple of years, things are going to be getting crazier and crazier in this industry. And that's why I want to put this video up and talk about something that I'm noticing that's going to get really, really big and super exciting in the ball python industry. But first, guys, um, I need to open up these packages real quick. Um, just see what kind of stuff we got in here and then uh, we're gonna off some females and you know go from there oh sweet oh this is from hissy fits look at this guys oh my god this freaking coasters for beer that is so freaking sick man dude hissy's like a, he's an og in this industry man it was crazy we used to i used to talk to him you know when i first started getting into this but man thanks a lot for the shirt dude guys go give him a follow instagram youtube facebook everything hissy fit reptiles that is freaking insane, right? Let me put this right here. We have another shirt going on over here as well. Guys, um, if you guys haven't, if you guys ain't a part of my uh, Patreon already, uh, my link's gonna be on the description down below. We're doing another video this Friday with my tax guy, my CPA. So a lot of people are already sending their um, their comments and their, I mean their messages and their questions. So if you guys are interested, man, go check it out. You don't want to miss out on this. Okay, so dude, hopefully I got some money in here. Let's see. Royal Morphs. Oh, sweet. Is that the money? No, it's not money. It's almost <laughs> as good as money, though. Look at this. Dude, Royal Morphs, man. That is so freaking... From Liverpool. How insane is that? So, Royal Morphs, guys. Make sure you guys go check them out as well. All their information is in the description down below. Look at this. So sick, man. They have Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Oh, sweet. Look at that, man. Look at their handles on the gold. That's so cool. Or, not their handles, but, you know. The icons, the yeah. social media icons. Yeah, this yeah. is freaking sick, man. <laughs> Thank you guys. Really, really appreciate this, man. I love wearing the shirts. You guys always know, man. I, I love, you know, wearing the stuff on my vlogs. All right, let's see. That one doesn't look like a shirt. No, it's actually. Ooh, there we go. This right here is from Terrence Hackett. This is from uh, Benji's uh, Beauties. Thank you. Appreciate all you do. Inspire, encourage me. This information, I'm sure, it's really helped me in keeping the business growing. Your kindness will not be forgotten in regards to Terrence. You know, Benji Hackett. Benji Exotic Beauties, LLC. Holy crap. Dude. Wow. So cool. Man, brothers, dude, thank you very much, dude. This is so freaking sick, man. This is definitely going up somewhere. Wow, dude, that is so awesome. Guys, go check everyone's uh, link on the description down below. Go check them out, please. I mean, that is so awesome, dude. Look at this. They even put you on there, Tina. They did. That is so freaking awesome. I already put the frogs, because now that we have some frogs. <laughs> but yeah, guys, man, make sure you guys go check all them out, seriously. So um, before we get to the what I'm telling you guys with the business talk, well, not the business talk, but what I know is going to be exploding in this, you know, in this uh, industry, um, Apache, dude, we had the craziest story that, we, that just happened to us. Um, I put on my Spanish channel, and uh, so... You know, we woke up to all these crows. I mean, but just by our, by our, by our. So we have a, we have our bed, we have our door, our sliding balcony. door that opens up in the balcony. Tina opened it up, and there was a buttload of birds there. I mean, I couldn't tell how much birds were there. And um, sorry, got a little itch. We were freaking out. We we're telling Tina, I was like, man, you know what the hell's going on? You know, so we couldn't figure it out. I mean, this crows were surrounding everywhere. I went out. Tina went outside and found a crow in the swimming pool. So we have cameras there. So I'm like, man, I wonder how that thing like dove in in there. And it turns out Apache has something to do with it. Uh, Apache, you know. I believe the crow was eating the dog food and went in there and you know threw it around a couple times. Then you can see the the crow running out. Apache, I think, broke its wing because when they tried to fly away, it landed in the pool. But um, yeah, guys, uh, check this out.
How crazy is that, right? Man, I mean, kind of sucks. I mean, if we would have known a little early, we would have saved the little crow and took it out. But, man, Apache, Apache does not play around, dude. You can tell he got poked in the eye or something because it let go right away. All right, so, guys, um, the next big thing that I'm thinking is going to happen over here, and not think, but I know that's happening, is the Latin community for the ball pythons is growing like you would not believe, man. And, you know, talking to uh, Santiago from My Candy Morris and, you know, Guadalajara pythons and Piton Bola pythons out there in, uh, in Mexico, the information and the messages that I'm getting is ridiculous. I think that is the next, the Latin, you know, community, like as far as like the countries, like, you know, like you got, you know, Mexico, uh, Puerto Rico, you know, all the other places, it, it's, it's insane the inquiries that we're getting from from them and the crazy part is that they're normals and like the regular clowns the pides the, what they pay for out there is ridiculous i mean they're paying 30 to what 30 to 50 percent more than what people are selling them out here for um for a wholesale so if you think about it man i mean i for sure i'm not going to be able to produce enough snakes to take care of the latin community um the all these other breeders are not going to be nowhere even close to take care of it i i think and uh, well actually i don't think i know this coming season and the next, you know, five, you know, 10 years, it's gonna be humongous. The Latin industry is gonna blow up like you would not believe, man. I cannot keep up with my messages and emails, you know, that I'm getting just, you know, inquiries for snakes. If I had, honestly, I'll tell you right now, no lie. If I had 200 snakes in here, just, you know, hatchlings, as far as normals, all the way up to like, just clown pastels and pastel pies, whatever, all of them would be sold out like that easily be making over you know six figures on just those babies right there because i mean the the the, the amounts of mess that we're getting just to, you know buy them is ridiculous man and the the my spanish channel that i've been doing over there for youtube has blown up like i would not have ever thought i mean it's only a year in if that and it's already doing 15 times better than my english channel that's four years old I mean, dude, we have videos that are just going viral that are in a half a million, millions of views. I mean, I think our views are right now, we're like at 1.3 million views watch time. And my English one's only like at 125,000. It's freaking insane, man. I'm telling you guys, everyone that's coming into this industry right now, as far as breeding snakes, the Latin community is going to freaking be huge financially and beneficial for everyone in the ball python industry man it's so freaking insane i'm gonna touch you know with you guys a little bit more on that but i'm really really excited man so again i know we did a lot of talking you know we showed off a lot of cool stuff that we got now we're gonna offer some females that i really want to see if they're close to you know pretty much you know uh taping them and marking them so we don't have to you know like touch them anymore um if you guys want to stay tuned to watch this then you know i hope you guys do but um yeah let's offer some some females now all right guys uh let's set this up real quick all right we're good to go so yeah so these females that we're going to be ultrasounding right now they um all stopped eating so you know i usually was going to wait until the 28th um because that would be a month but i have to leave to mexico i'm telling you man it's, it's getting so crazy out there so i won't be here for the weekend to you know to, to ultrasound them so i'm gonna ultrasound some of these uh heavy hitters right here and see if they're gonna go for sure because if they are we're gonna tag them and not we're even worried about feeding them anymore but man we could potentially have some crazy crazy stuff here so let's get started all right man so the first one that we're ultrasounding is this cinnamon and cheese sunset and she was bred to a cypress head sunset um but yeah she was at 12 millimeter follicles and now i mean look at this dude how crazy is that and um yeah, i'm gonna measure these out and i'll let you guys know where how big she's went from so we're gonna go to measure thanks to turtle big shout out to her for you know multitasking <laughs> so she's at 20 millimeter follicles from what was it 12 13 millimeters so yeah that's a good sign and she's not eating anymore so that's so far ones man that's a good one right there all right so here we have another one man and this is a double head sunset clown um she was at 14 millimeter follicles and look at her now let me try to get those oh, sorry usually tina helps me uh hold these things but right now since we're trying to film this stuff i know i saw a good one in there there we go let me darken this up a little bit more they look like peas in a pod let me see if i can just get them from the outside part oh yeah, here we go no and it's a lot harder doing it by myself but hold on let me see perfect all right so yeah so this was bred to a sunset clown so you know hopefully we get some more visual at sunset clowns but again she jumped up from just a few, what was it like 12 13 to 24.7 millimeter follicles and yeah she's also done eating so now we're just gonna leave her alone these are a good sign on two of them so far all right so we had to do it another way here's another double head sunset clown um produced over here at aep here's another one that went from 12 millimeter follicles to uh oh let me tell you right now so let me put her away because it's a lot harder doing this by yourself but uh <laughs> 
can still keep on looking at the eggs over there. All right, so she was at actually 13.8, and now she is at 22.9. Another one that's done eating. I'm telling you, man, once these girls that we're seeing that are from 13 to 17 millimeter follicles, once they stop eating and we start realizing, man, that these girls, you'll grow out of nowhere. So that's so that actual, that double head sunset clown, we bred that to a banana leopard the female maker double head Sansa clown just because I would love to see the leopard banana Sansa clown I mean again you know the odds are gonna be against us but man that is so freaking crazy all right we got like four more females to go man these girls are seriously growing so crazy look at this again all these girls around like 12 you know 14 from there and look at this one's around it's around 20 maybe 17 don't go girl I just had you there we go, go. all right turtle take her away and I will measure her out see she's at 19.5 millimeter follicles Dude, that is so freaking crazy. So that's a double head um, albino uh, sunset bred to a cinnamon double head albino sunset. Hopefully we see that red snake this season. If that, you know, if it works out like the boas. This one I'm really, really excited about. So right here we have a Zuwadi Fire Mojave and we bred her to a Cypress Clown. So we're gonna be able to see if, you know, Zuwadi and, you know, Cypress work good together. Um, last time we checked her, she was at 17 millimeter follicles. This is another one that stopped eating. Let me see where she's at. Oh yeah, she's pretty much done. So look at that. Zoom in on that turtle. She's actually a pretty good girl. Let's see. Let's measure her right there. Yeah, she's at 25. So I'm pretty much done breeding her. She's going to be good to go. That is so freaking cool, man. We're going to see how Cypress and Zuwadi work together, but I just want to make some, you know, some Zuwadi head clown stuff, man, because I think they're going to look freaking amazing. All right, so this is the last one that we have marked down that hasn't been eating. Right here, we have a pastel yellow belly inchy GNX pied, and she was bred to a special pied. Oh, yep, she's done, though. We're just waiting for it to ovulate and wow, that one blew up like crazy. She's over 40 millimeter follicles. Let's um, put this one away and let me do another one. So I'm really excited about this one right here. Right here we have a yellow belly uh, lavender, which is a uh, lavender um, uh, pied. Sorry, yellow belly dreamsicle, which is a uh, yellow belly lavender pied. She was bred to a blackhead leopard lavender 100% head pied. Let's see real quick, girl, just stay close. Stay with me real quick. Oh wow, look at that. You see? Look at this, guys. That is so freaking insane. I'm going to put her away for you guys real, real quick. Right there. Be careful with her. We're going to mark her down. So, look. She was at 19 millimeter follicles. She stopped eating. And that was three weeks ago. I mean, dude, she's over, what, 33? So, I don't even have to put a male to her anymore. How freaking sick is that, man? Well, those are all the females I wanted to, you know, um, actually ultrasound just because, like I said, we always mark everything down that's not eating anymore. So, guys, as always, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time. Peace.